guys, how are you? It's Miss Amadio with this week's ESOL lesson. This week you guys are going to be reading a story called Giraffe Grows Up. So I'm gonna start, I just want you to take a look at the picture that I made for you. And I want you to think about some vocabulary words that you're gonna be reading in the story Giraffe Goes Up. So the first word is giraffe. And we know that giraffe is an animal with a long neck. Herd, which is a group of animals and to keep up. You can see the little people are trying to keep up with the big person. Um, some sight words that you're gonna be working on are up, U-P, up, and own, O-W-N, own. Again, I want you to write those words a bunch of times, uh, maybe in different colors. Um, you could jump them, you could clap them. Just make sure that by the end of the week, you could write those two words, up and own, by yourself. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna think about as we're reading the story Giraffe Grows Up is the main idea and details. The main idea is the most important part of a story or what the entire story is about. And then you're gonna list three details that support the main idea. So three ideas that will help us understand the main idea better. And you could maybe make a chart at home. You could draw this on a piece of paper. And in these yellow boxes, you could list your main idea and your three supporting details. And we'll see what that looks like as we get into our slideshow presentation. So I'm gonna present my slides now so that you guys can see exactly what it is that we're gonna be doing this week. All right, here we go. So it says we're gonna start by previewing vocabulary in the book, Giraffe Grows Up. We talked a little bit on my poster about the three words that you're gonna see this week. Giraffe, herd, and keep up. You can see the little geese sling they're trying to keep up with their mom. Okay, you have some sentences that I want you to read at home with a family member. You can read it to somebody. The giraffe eats leaves. The herd stays together. Okay, the ducklings must keep up with their mother. When you get to slide seven, you're going to drag the words up to show me that you know which picture represents which word. And now we're going to read the story, Giraffe Grows Up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna present this big so that we can see all the words, okay? Giraffe Grows Up, written by Mish Goldish. She's the author of the story. Remember, the author writes the words. Because this is a nonfiction text, this book does not have an illustrator. Um, they have actual photographs of animals. In a nonfiction text, we're talking about things that happen in real life. So we're gonna have real life photographs in this story. Okay, here's your title page, Giraffe Grows Up, written by Mish Goldish. Soon, this baby giraffe will grow up. Now he can stand. Giraffe is growing up. Now he can eat leaves. Giraffe is growing up. Now he has horns. Giraffe is growing up. Now he can run. Giraffe is growing up. Now he can keep up with the herd. Giraffe is growing up. Now he can eat from treetops. And up and up. Giraffe is not a baby anymore. All right, so that was a story about a giraffe and it tells us the different ways that the giraffe changes as he grows up. Okay, it's gonna ask you to read the story again. Since I read it the first time, now I want you to take the time and I want you to try and read the story out loud. I'm just gonna skip right through those slides because we already read it. All right, in the second section of the slides, they're gonna ask you about the main idea of the book. The book Giraffe Grows Up was mostly about how giraffes can do many new things now that he is growing up. Now we have some details. What are some new things that the giraffe can do? He can eat leaves, now he has horns, and he can also keep up with the herd. Okay, you're gonna explain those pictures to somebody in your house, tell them exactly what the new things are that the giraffe can do. Okay, you're gonna reread the story one more time. And then you're gonna work on our high frequency or our sight words. We talked about earlier the word up and the word own. You're gonna use your mouse and you're gonna click on the letter and you're gonna drag it into the box. Okay, and that'll be your ESO lesson for this week. So take your time, make sure you're rereading the book throughout the week. 
just make sure you're thinking about your main idea and details. If you end up drawing an ice cream chart, feel free to take a picture of it and send it to me. I would love to see it. It's a great way to visualize the main idea and details in the story. Um, and I'm really proud of you. Keep up the good work. I'll see you next week.